Good morning and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. This here is an MG HS PHEV. This is a plug-in hybrid electrical vehicle. So we have a 16.6 kilowatt battery that's going to deliver you 32 miles of fully electric driving. So if you are in the market for an electric vehicle, but you're still a bit hesitant on the range and you're not sure if it's going to meet all your requirements, a plug-in hybrid is a perfect option. A plug-in hybrid tends to have a larger capacity battery that you can drive on fully electric in comparison to a mild hybrid, which you cannot. So this, again, can do 32 miles on the battery alone. So possibly you might be able to do your daily commute on fully electric. But if you're going further afield on the weekend, you have a petrol engine, a 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine. Together that produces 260 PS of power. That 260 PS of power is then transmitted through a beautiful automatic gearbox. We are registered on a 22 registration, so we can have warranty until 2029. The vehicle itself has only done 4,800 4, miles. I'll get the exact number once we're inside, but 4,800 miles is so just under five, but it's incredibly low mileage. Being an exclusive, we have some fantastic specification to talk about. We've got some fantastic headlights, we've got a nice pan roof, some gorgeous red interior as well. But we'll come to that in just a second. So let me begin you at the front of the vehicle like always. Give a little flash on the key. These have some beautiful sequential indicators so they travel across the lamp there. And we've got some nice daytime running lights in there as well. So these are the SIAC light technology headlights. So you're going to be fully illuminated in any lighting condition. Twinned with some beautiful front fogs. Got a nice MG honeycomb style grille. And just below it is a forward facing radar. So that's a driver assistance radar, part of the MG pilot system. And we'll talk about that when we're inside the vehicle. At the offside front, we can see your first beautifully diamond cut alloy wheel. These are 18 inches in diameter, and as you can see, fitted with Michelin tires as standard. There's some lovely alloy wheels with some silver painted brake calipers. If we zoom down even more, we see the tire pressure, uh, tire valve, which is the TPMS sensors. So you can see every individual tire pressure whilst you're on the move. Looking at the door now, power folding and heated door mirrors, keyless entry on both the front door handles. So we've got rear privacy glass stretching all the way around the rear windows. Before I progress any further, let's give you a little sight up inside the panoramic roof. So as you can see, that pane of glass retracts all the way back and sits nice and flush to the roof. So it's not going to be creating any drag, no wind noise, it is a seamless sunroof. So it's a really nice feature on these HS exclusives. Okay, at the rear of the vehicle now, so we'll just pan our way down. You can see the indicator flashing there, the sequential style that I was uh, referring to. But whilst we're here though, we'll have a quick look at the offside rear wheel. Again, Primacy three tires, only done 5,000 miles. They've got plenty of life in them left. Give a quick reflection down at the offside of the body, moving away around to the rear. So these automatic HS exclusives do have a power tailgate, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. We're just going to do the near side quickly, and we'll talk about the rear and the boot. So there is the near side rear wheel. You've got a nice little view of that. It's a bit lighter around this side, so we'll give you some beautiful reflections. Right, so, okay, moving our way down to the near side front of the vehicle. Again, a nice large 18-inch alloy wheel. Again, keyless entry, so I'll give you a quick demonstration. Lock the vehicle, put your key in your pocket, and when you zoom in, that's going to unlock and lock the vehicle. Nice and simple. Oh, so you've got cameras all the way around this vehicle. So you've got one at the front, one at the rear, and two in both wing mirrors. So that gives you the 360 camera option. Okay, so at the rear, again, rear camera, rear parking sensors, and a power tailgate. Double click on the key there, he says. If I unlock the vehicle first, there we go. Double click on the key, open Sesame. So it's a lovely power tailgate. So this all matches up with the keyless start button, the keyless entry, and obviously the power tailgate. You can open it by just clicking the button underneath the MG badge as well. And to shut it down again, we do have a button on the left hand side of the boot seal. Okay, so this is the lovely boot of the MGHS. So we have a built-in tourneo cover, which is removable. We've got pressure points either side. You pinch in, 
and that will pull away nicely. The tornado cover pulls up like so, and retracts. We got a nice clipping booted. So I mentioned earlier, we have a 16.6 .6 kilowatt battery. The charger supplied with the vehicle is a three pin plug charger. So it plugs straight into the side of the vehicle, around here. Okay, I need to open it manually with the button, but there we go. So that plugs in there, and that will charge overnight quite happily on that charger. If you require a faster charger, can I recommend getting a seven kilowatt type two charger, and that will charge it in a matter of hours. But um, yeah, a lot of people here drive these HS plug-in hybrids. They get into work, they plug it in. The time they leave, they've got a full battery again. Okay, so excuse my muddy footprints on the floor. I've just been doing photographs of this vehicle. So we've got floor mats included already. That's worth noting. And let me give you the first glimpse of this gorgeous red leather interior. So this is an optional extra on these HSs when ordering. So this has had the the red leather and it looks gorgeous these seats in the hs's are incredibly comfortable you can see the level of padding the level of comfort all the way down the vehicle so you've got two iso fixing seats so the near side rear and the offside rear you can clip your baby seats in and keep them nice and secure we have a really really flush armrest section here you've got your soft touch opening and closing drinks holder there as well so it's a really nice executive feeling to this vehicle at the rear there we also have two usbs and rear air conditioning vents as well if we look to the sky we can get a little glimpse of your panoramic glass opening roof from inside the cabin and it's a good opportunity to look at the back of these front seats these front seats are lovely let me go and show you so they're really thick really comforted on the back and the base area so as you can see, these are twinned with a bit of suede at the top sh shoulder part of the seat. So you've got incredible support of the base and the lower back section. And like you'd expect, there are electrically controlled. So you've got a one, a two, three, four, five, six. And you've got your lumbar support there as well. So incredibly comfortable seatings. Before I jump in, just show you four electric windows, mirror controls, and we've got the interior locking just next to the door handle. Okie doke, so let me just jump inside now and we'll show you everything to offer. Like I referred to earlier, the keyless go button. So foot on the brake, click the button there, and that will give us power. So being a plug-in hybrid vehicle, it's not guaranteed the engine is going to start every time. But as it's so cold out today, it will, just to warm up the system. So there we are. So this is the digital driver display. So let me give you a quick breakdown of what we're looking at here. So you get a nice possible icy road sign to let you know it could be icy outside. So to the left hand side of the screen, we have your miles per hour, so digital speedo. Being a electrical vehicle, the most important thing to see here is the green ready sign. That is to let us know the high voltage battery is in a good state of operation and ready to go. That is also displayed in this lovely little image in the middle. So at the back of the vehicle, in the blue bit, is the battery. And you can see the engine, currently illuminated orange, suggesting it is on in the middle. Just below it, which is currently illuminated grey, uh, is your motor. So it's a really nice flow chart. So as you're going along, you can see exactly where the energy is coming and going from. Don't forget, I have actually released a, uh, a video, a launch video for the MGHS, and I'll actually leave a link in the description below. So go check out the video, uh, and I'll explain everything about the hybrid system in there. But just to carry on with the tour, a percentage of power on the right-hand side. We're measuring the power of the motor and of the engine, so a percentage of power is a better way to display that. At the bottom, all the relevant driver information you may need going from left to right we have a fuel range there so 70 miles in the petrol tank we have a combined range of 92 miles that is the petrol and electricity and we have an air temperature a gear selector indicator we've got the time on there and we've got the mileage i said 4800 i lied i was a mile off 4799 and to the right hand side is your battery voltage so it's currently saying we've got 22 miles at 69 percent fill that up to 100 32 miles range no problem so that's a little bit about the screen we can actually navigate our way through the screen using the arrows on the right hand side of the steering wheel so you've got different settings different warnings and we've got different chip computers current journey accumulated total 
there's the tyre pressures I referred to earlier, the battery voltage. So yeah, there's tons and tons and tons you can do with the steering wheel and the driver display. If I zoom out a little bit and just show you the rest of the steering wheel, we have a volume control to the left and the obviously the arrows controlling the screen to the right. More media functions are found at the bottom of these buttons here. That links me up lovely to talk about the 12 inch color touchscreen infotainment system. So it's navigated to three main tiles, as you can see the orange being your radio, so your media. And in the middle is navigation in green, and at the right hand side in the turquoisey green one is your heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. Being the exclusive, we have heated front seats and dual zone climate control. So I can just give you a quick tour around this screen if I can try and get the sunlight out of the, uh, the image. Unfortunately, not going too well for me at the moment, as you can tell. So we can set individual temperatures at individual sides of the cabin. Quite rare in most vehicles, you can actually set them at complete opposite set temperatures. Some manufacturers have a differential of about four or five degrees. This one, you can quite literally have one on low, one on high, so you can keep everybody happy. Heated front seats are found just above that. So click on there, light goes green, heated seat is then on. And quick click on that, that turns it off again. The screen is helped navigated via a series of quick toggle buttons just below the air vents. Two volume rockers, one home button, car settings, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, and a quick clear front and rear screen there. Just below this little cover, I have two USB ports and a 12 volt socket. So that is where you'd plug in your data cable and take full advantage of both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So whatever software you have on your mobile phone, plug it in and that will replicate itself onto this screen here. So you can take full advantage of all the software on your phone, such as navigation, you've got your music on there, audio books, podcasts, text messages, phones, you name it, it can all be done from the screen hands free. And not just that, it activates the voice command button. So if you do have Google Assistant or Siri on your phone, click that, it'll wake up Siri, ask it to do whatever you like, but most importantly, it's gonna be keeping your hands off your phone whilst driving. And obviously it's gonna be charged when you get there as well, which is quite useful. If you look further south now, to show you quickly around the gear selector, really nice, sleek design. You know, it's easy to unlock it, pop it into the relevant gears, once you conclude, oh look, there's the beep of the rear reversing camera, and we've got the bird's eye view to the left hand side. Uh, so it gives you a nice little indication. Uh, once you've concluded, click the P, and it applies the handbrake, and puts you into park. Apart from that, we have the hazard warning lights. We have a button that says EV, so this will change it into a fully electric vehicle. So if you'd like to go between the hybrid or the electric, that is how it's done. But one there to open and shut the power tailgate. A 360 button there, so if we click that, the screen then changes to the front facing camera so please notice the red and the blue vehicle there so you can go into that it's also you've also got a 3d camera that is lovely my favorite my favorite camera i park to a curb most evenings you click on that tire there it takes you to the curb cameras so if i just turn the steering wheel there you go you can see the front wheels poking out there so if you do have troubles with uh, meeting curbs whilst parking this could be a nice tool to uh, show you exactly how far or near you are from the kerb. Anyway, more buttons, electronic camera brake, automatic hold and heel descent control. Nice deep cup holders and an air conditioning box there to keep your drinks nice and cool in the summer months. Definitely won't needing that today. Need more of a kettle inside here. Give you a quick glimpse once more of the driver's seat. I don't think that seat's ever been sat on. That looks absolutely immaculate. There we are. So there's the interior, a bit of the technology, and a walk around the body of this MGHS. If you do have any questions, please do call us on 01376 550 899. Look forward to speaking with you all soon.